Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me here as we watch yet another aeroplane comes into land at a Jaxima airport here in Birmingham where I am attempting to play airport CEO and well we're not doing too badly but we do appear to be losing money by the hour six and well that's nearly seven grand an hour isn't it uh, how are we doing we, I, if I look at my daily record oh we're actually up today that's impressive not quite sure how we managed that, but we did. So I'm not going to panic after all then. Okay, now, we have moved on, I think it's probably about three or four days in game time since you were last with me. And I've made a few changes, which I'll talk you through in a moment. But one thing happened while I was uh, playing those extra three or four days to the contracts that we've signed. Uh, if we look here, for example... They appear to come up for renegotiation after an amount of time. I'm not quite sure what that time is. Two years, three years, maybe it's two years. Anyway, so what I've done is I've actually negotiated a cheaper price for my contractors. So they're now paid £0.9, 90p an hour less, which is all good. Uh, Goose Wings, they are now paying me more per flight, quite a lot. So if we can, it's a pity I can't have more than one window open at a time. I'd like to have two contracts so I can compare and contrast. Yeah, so you hear Forrest, who I think they did come up for contract, but then rejected my offer. <laughs> so so my, my suggestion, they pay more. So they start with, they all start with two and a half thousand per small flight and six grand for a medium flight. And I've increased Goose Wings charges to 2692. And 6462, so it's a few hundred pound more per flight. And I did the same, I think, with Trinity. Yeah, for their medium flights, certainly. And for Crown Airlines, likewise, they're paying more for theirs. Olympus have only just joined us. Uh, they're our large aircraft carrier. Uh, so, but we will come and deal with them later. Uh, Forest, I'll try and get them to, to renegotiate. Well, they'll come to the table at some point anyway. Right, so what have I done in the meantime, on the ground as it were? You may notice the distinct lack of staircases or stairwells here in the departure lounge because I was getting close to an uncomfortably small amount of money in the bank balance. I've only got 157,000 more or less in the bank and that is, that is not a lot when you're running an airport. So what I've done is I've taken out that underground tunnel to get between the internal departure lounge and the international zone here, which feeds the, the large gate. So passengers will actually now just go through the doors here and cross the roadway to go into the international zone. So hopefully that saves me a fair amount of money. And I've also put in a public car park. Now, I don't know if you watched my Sim Airport series when I was trying to rebuild Bristol Airport here in the UK. Uh, but one of the, the things that came up with that in the research I did is it was suggested, and I have no reason to think this was incorrect, it was suggested that Bristol Airport, the, the, the company that runs the airport, earns more from the car parking fees than it does from any of the other operational charges they impose to the airlines and the franchisees and so on. The car parking is their main source of revenue. And having been to Bristol Airport a few times, it's not cheap. So that seems entirely believable to me. So massive amounts of car parking is obviously the, the sign of a well-run airport. So I put one down here. It's only a small one. But the trouble is, ah, I still have issues with the game, with the way ga the game handles these two-lane roads. It seems to want to send vehicles, cars in particular, but also taxis and, and coaches, in, into the into odd places. So that I have been getting people stuck here. So what I might do, I think, first thing we're going to do is I want to close this down. That's it. Are they all going to be evicted? Now, I don't think I can move you, can I? What are you coming in for? It's not working. You're not going to park, are you? Okay, go faster and come out. 
that you've parked. You can't... Oh, for goodness sakes. It's deactivated and will not... Okay, well, can I demolish you then? Object mark for demolition. Okay, let's get you demolished. What I want to do is move it away from the road there, which might improve the tra traffic situation. Maybe. We shall see. Um, we still have our waste unit here. Uh, once I've got some more money in the bank, we'll purchase some waste trucks so we can open up that. And that, I think, should earn me some money as well for, uh, for cleaning the aircraft cabins. I'm going to have to rebuild this uh, car park, aren't I? I hope I get money back from demolishing this. Or, or otherwise, that was a very rash thing to do, wasn't it? Oh dear, oh dear. We shall see. Now, I've tried to use the one-way... Thank you, now you've gone. I've tried to use the one-way uh, system here, but <laughs> cars still seem to, to get themselves lost and confused. Okay, so we'll put our car park back in. Uh, there you are, parking lot. We'll turn you around and about, a bit like that. If I pushed you to there, I say, and we'll put some public road in, a bit like that, and a bit like that. Okay, we're going to need some sidewalk. Let's get our guys building this. So people can actually get from the car park to the airport. We don't need it here, but it just makes it look tidier, I think, doesn't it? Okay. Okay, we're on 158-ish. Okay. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, we're making money this hour. That's good news. Now, the other thing that we have done is we did research in the last episode the second tier of security. So we can improve our security, which I think we ought to do, because our current rating here, our baggage incorrectly destroyed marker here is that's quite a low percent. In fact, I think that's if I can I hold this still, forty-two percent. Yeah, that's our, our lowest rating on any of the sort of security issues here. So what we can do here is put down some additional security checks here. Uh, these level two security scanners for organics, guns, drugs, and so on. But I'm going to need a lot more space and need to rearrange this. So what we'll do is we will try and plan this out. Now it's one of the, the, the little bugbears I have with the game is it's not always obvious when you're in planning mode. Toggle to planning mode. It says I'm in planning mode now. Good. Are you going to stay in planning mode? You better. We want to build more terminal foundation. Uh, yeah, terminal foundation. Let's do that. Now, I think what we can do is if we get the first scanner to come. It's, it's an odd way it works because you can't change the orientation of these. So if I plan you down there. Okay. And what we'll do is we will put in the baggage scanner. We'll actually remove this one and put this one in. So if we put you in somewhere, which way are you going? Uh, I think you go out, which way do you go out? I wish it was clearer on here, which way is out? <laughs> Oh, it's got the little X's and the, the tick, the little red X and the sort of green tick you can see there. It's not at all clear on this sort of placement mode. So if you're coming in there, okay, so if you're good, okay, we'll put you there. So if you're good, you'll come out down the bottom here. Okay, so we would then have conveyor belt. Okay. We do have high-speed conveyor belts now, but I'm not going to use them. <laughs> They're probably that much more... I can't go there, okay, because that's a bit of wall. Okay, so that's the good bags. So the bad bags, they need to come out of here and come down. And then we can put in the first of the other bag checks which will be for organics. We'll do them in the order they're presented here. OK, 
Okay. So, right. So if they're bad, if they're checked, if they fail the organics test, they'll go back to the destroyer. The Annihilator. Yes, that was correct. That is what that is. Uh, and if they're good, they should go to the next check, which in this case will be for guns. I think they need to be placed one apart. I don't think, yeah, you can't run. Oh, that wall there, that is frustrating, isn't it? Actually, if I plan to build a wall and I press control, yes, I can take that out. So it won't build that and I won't need to delete it when it's finished the actual construction. So I can now actually plan in that other conveyor belt. There you go. Uh, you're going down there. Okay. So you go down there. We go to our next scanner. Oh, I need to... Oh, the secure zone business. Okay. All right. So you're all going to be a secure zone. Lovely. And we want a gun scanner to go there. Okay, we might be able to run them along as well. So there are five of these, there are five of these. Okay, so we'll place you there. And the next one, which will be for drugs. We can place you there, I th we'll place you there, okay, and if you're good, you then need to come up here, and you see, mm. I wish you could, like, I just wish you could change the orientation of these, so you could have them coming in from different sides, that is probably not a simple thing to model. I'll, I'll let them off that. Okay, so if we put you there. Okay, now that's the last one. There is a third tier of baggage, uh, baggage security, but we haven't researched that yet. That will be one of the things we do uh, later in this episode. Okay, let's let's get the conveyor belt. Okay, there you go down there. You can go there and around there to there. To there. You can go up there, no, up there, there, there. And if you pass that one, okay, so this is the this is the good bags. They've they passed the first security check, so they're assumed to be clean. But can I run you along there? No! <laughs> because it tries to uh, it wants to, to run them into each other. No, don't, what have I clicked there? Don't click that. Click this. There you go. What? Why? Why is that there? Go away. That's it. Okay, and run uh, along there. And if you come up here, that's okay. Then that will join with the conveyor belt going off to the baggage um, business, the baggage area, <laughs> baggage man, whatever it's called. So what this will do is we will need this to go up here. So this is the destroyed baggage line and you'll go up there into the annihilator. We might as well just leave you going that way. Uh, you'll turn around at some point. Okay, and you need to go to there, you'll go to there, there, okay. Now this is the final check, having passed all the tests, you can go there, onto the baggage handling. Okay, right, that seems to make sense to me, I think. So we'll get our guys to build that, and we should be all right. Do I want to replace that with high-speed conveyor belt? Does that look any different, I wonder, to the ordinary? Ooh. It costs 100 for ordinary, 
Six hundred and a pound fourteen. Well, no, no, we don't need that yet. <laughs> we don't have that many large flights, so. Okay, let's see if we can get our guys to build that. Uh, toggle planning, build all that. Okay, splendid. Right, do I want more construction workers? I could probably do with a few more, actually. Get a few more on the site. Uh, we will add another ten. There you go. Oh, I can review the contract. Oh, that's just looking at it. It's not actually renegotiating it. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh my, look, it's saying we're down to 75 grand. Yikes. This better be worth it. We do earn money from the car parking. Um, I don't know if we can set the fees. Actually, let's have a look at that. Uh, where's the... Is there a fee setting thing here? Economy, loans, fees. Right. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so I have increased these as well a little bit. So I've increased the fee for fuel, catering and so on. I've left as they were. As you can see, they've gone to orange numbers, which suggests they're not entirely op uh, optimal. But, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Short-term parking, £11. Yeah, well, that, that will do, I guess. Bathroom. Oh, bathrooms are free. Mm, okay, we'll leave them as free. And we will charge for cabin cleaning and de-icing and stuff when we have those services available. And talking of research, how are we doing? Oh, we've oh we've done everything. Ah, splendid. Okay. Uh, so what we can do now is we can research baggage security tier three which is the final manned check of security uh, of, of, of baggage. So we'll start that. And that does require six people minimum. I've got five. I'll take one away from marketing and put you in there. So that's going to take at least two days to come through. OK, so our car park is operational. Okay, the guys are building a new underground security lair. What's our flight schedule looking like? Where are we? We're Monday, Tuesday. We're okay. Wednesday. I'll, again, I'll worry about filling that up a bit later. One other thing, while they're doing this, this building malarkey down below, I did employ, uh, while you were away, a new member of staff uh, who is on the executive committee, there you are, who is uh, the CFO, I think, enables economy reports. So I can now get into these things, all these statistics things. And to be honest, I'm disappointed. Um, they're, they're lovely graphs, but I can't see how my airport is actually operate what is actually happening for each flight uh, again I'm, I'm sorry but I'm going to compare it to sim airport on that I could see for the last number of days I can't remember how many it was but it was quite a few exactly what happened for each flight when they arrived when they took off if they were late the number of passengers were boarding uh, there was even a mod where you could get a drill down into the stats for all the baggage and so on so the, the stats reports here just strike me as being... They're, they're, they're nice as graphs. I mean, I love graphs. But they don't give me a detailed breakdown, as far as I can see. If you know better, as I said, I'm quite a newbie to this game. So, yeah, that, that's all very lovely. But active flights... Yeah, I can see how busy the airport is, but I can't see how here how efficient I am per flight. That's a missed opportunity in my book. I mean, we should have loads and loads of information. OK, so my new security setup is ready. Uh, ooh, loads of people. Some of these sh these, out these franchise sh shops and stuff do very good business, certainly in the sort of entrance lobby. But the larger ones in 
the departure areas just do not get the traffic. Maybe I maybe it's because I don't have enough flights. Oh, we have a Tupolev. Uh the Ural 19 something, aren't you? <laughs> 144. Yeah, that's exactly that's what I meant. 144. Actually, are we doing how are we doing for staff? We're missing a security officer. Uh, vehicles, we're okay with those for the moment. Baggage, that's all fine. Shall we get another security officer? I'm not quite sure where they're missing from. These passport control desks are occupied. The, uh, yeah, these desks are occupied. So, how many is that? That's eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. No, that's four, not eight. <laughs> Man's an idiot, can't even count. Uh, four, that's, that is eight altogether. So there's three others wandering around somewhere. I know there is at least one doing a patrol around here, or there should be. Can we look? Can I remember how to look that up? That's the heat, that's analysis tools. Ah, security patrols, there you go. Yeah, there is one there. I'm guessing there's somebody doing that. Probably. Unless they sit in the car as well, but I thought the police car was separate. Anyway, what was I about to do? Oh, I was about to get this um, new bag. Oh, we're down to 47 grand. <laughs> Heck. Well, yeah, I was just checking that we don't have any bags about to come in. But I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So I can. Uh, we want to... I could move you, but let's demolish you instead. Request cleaning? No, we'll demolish you. Okay, and that, and that, and that, and that. That, that, that. And all that, I think. And then we can put some new conveyor belt in. So deal with this. Actually, I don't want to demolish you. So if I leave you there, hopefully you'll join up with that new segment. Okay, and you can go up there. You can go up there. Around there, that's good. And delete you. I'm thinking this will work. Uh, let's check that everything is going in the right direction. Yeah, so all the red outputs are going in that central channel up to the Annihilator. Oh, some bags coming in. Oh, some being checked. Ah, you, you failed on that one, whatever that is. This is good. Uh, oh. Okay, hopefully once that gets built, they will move on. He said hopefully. And they do. Excellent. Now the idea here is of course to reduce the number of bags that I'm incorrectly uh, incorrectly destroying. So where are the emails? There are the emails. So where's my operational report? Uh, where was it? Uh, there we go. Uh, bags incorrectly destroyed. 51. So, yeah. That, what's that? About another 50% or more. 20% <laughs> more of the, than those correctly dis destroyed. Okay, that that's that's good. So that is what that number we're trying to reduce. We should increase my security rating. Excellent. That I'm very happy that that's worked so smoothly. Do we... Uh, okay, we need to get more security people in, in here. Now, I don't know if you watch my uh, review of the uh, Vintage DLC uh, video, but in that I used the uh, medium security check-in checkpoint, which is this one here. Uh, if I turn that off, is it any easier to see? Not particularly. This uses, I think, three at least three security staff for that so it is not only is it more expensive to put down it's a lot more expensive to run so we'll not be using those for a while 
we can put in some more small security desks. Um, uh, we'll run them all along this side here, I think, won't we? So you need to be placed there. Okay, and I need to get another member of security. Uh, you see, we're okay. We've only got eight job. Yeah, I'm not. They, they obviously counting the rest period, so uh, they, we had three or four security staff on rest at the time, which is why I was that one person short. So if we get another security officer, who have we got available to us? Um, you're quite good. Well, you're, re you're quite expensive. If I hire you as well, and then I can train you up, and you'd then still be cheaper. <laughs> not as good necessarily, but still cheaper. Where are you? Are you not here yet? No, nope. maybe she hasn't turned up yet. Okay, well, we might check later. What's going on here? What's your problem? Yes, there are. Okay, there's a queue. That's all. Honestly. Yeah, I think the game does still have... You see there are people walking across there for their international flight. There are some pathing issues still. Um, the game hasn't been in full release for, uh, for that long now, to be honest. Uh, so you might expect there still to be a few of these little concerns. But they are frustrating when they turn up. Okay, and I'm not seeing any stuck vehicles on the for the car park. That's cool. All right. We might need to... Hmm... Might need to extend the baggage claim as well if we put more air, air, air flights in. Okay, so what do we have in terms of flights? So, okay, right, so from Saturday we're running a bit uh, empty. What I'm. What, uh, ooh. What I, I will put one of the vintage airlines into this game. Um, but I'm thinking that will be on a separate stand. For it might we'll treat it like a kind of a, a vintage air club, kind of thing. Um, so we'll keep them kind of separate to to the main operation. Although talking it, saying it, saying that, I'm not sure where I can put them because there isn't a great deal of room in this very badly designed airport. Mm. Yes, I, I, that, I've, been, I've hired staff. I did. What are you? Why are you? What? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, there's, there's that person. Yeah, I've got them. We'll train you up. Yeah, that's, that's better. Uh, there's too many people on rest. That, that's the problem. We need more janitors, do we? Ramp agents, service technician. Oh, okay. All right. So let's find a couple more ramp agents. They are kind of key. They they get people and and luggage to their planes. So we do need these people. Uh, we can't really skimp on ramp agents. So we'll hire you. Uh, another janitor. Who have we got here? You're reasonably inexpensive, and you've got, yeah, you've got a nice, reasonable green bar. Yeah. And a, a name which does sound Japanese. Right, that makes sense. Do you sound Canadian? Eric Roy. Actually, <laughs> I don't actually know many Canadians. I have been to Canada on a very lovely holiday across the Rockies. Uh, and I did work with a Canadian here in the UK. I, oh, actually, no, I've worked with a couple. I work closely with one Canadian, but I've, I've, I've known a couple of others in the course of my working life. But, uh, yeah, so what am I... We're in staff. Well, we stop waffling, man, and get on with the job in hand. Um, right, we wanted also a service technician, I think. Uh, 20, no, that's expensive. 12. Yeah, you'll do. There you go. Uh, 
right. Yeah, the bags are lining up. That's good. Yeah, we may need to revisit our whole baggage handling. But to be honest, I think that's probably better done in uh, in a new airport. Yeah. Actually, one thing I was thinking of doing, which might save me some money as well, is uh, removing some of this taxiway because it is entirely redundant. We simply do not need it. Uh, so if I take you out, you, and uh, we'll go to two there. Actually, we could, mm, could reduce it to three, to be honest. Actually, if I take three out from there. Yeah. One out from there, two out from there. Okay. Hopefully I'll get some money back from that. In the meantime, though, I don't need quite so many uh, construction workers. So we can send a few of those back home. We can send those ten back home. How's our research doing? Ah, still a long way to go. How much does that waste building cost, actually? Uh, infrastructure, is that in here? Or what is aircraft infrastructure? Oh, it's probably in here, isn't it? Uh, waste depot, 25 grand. I could, I think, afford that. But we're going to leave that, I think, for the moment. Oh, we're, we're, yeah, we're, yeah, car park's making money. That's lovely. It's not full yet. Well, I could put some lights up, shouldn't I? should put some lights up. Uh, there we go. Street lights or floodlights. We'll have some... Some average. <laughs> some average street lights. Okay, we'll put you up. Uh, you're usually around that way, aren't you? Along here. And here. And there. That will do, I think, nicely. Oh, we can put them in the car park, can we? Ah, that's nice. Uh, we'll put them there as well. See what difference that makes. I was looking at flights, wasn't I? Before we got carried away. Uh, okay, so who have we got flights coming in from uh, on our small... Uh, let's look at Crown. You're offering me medium flight. 63 people? I think we could do that, couldn't we? Yeah, uh, we could put you in there. That's nice. Uh, forest. Yeah, we've got a late night slot we can give, uh, we can give to flo Florist. Forest even. For a small plane, yeah, you're all small planes. Uh, one with a reasonable complement of passengers. Manifest, I think, is the correct term, isn't it? So we'll take you. You're five flights, are you? Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll put you. Yeah, in there. That's good. Uh, goose wing. Ooh. Medium flight with not many people on. Yeah, you're not a big carrier, are you? And even your small planes are tiny. Hmm. Slightly disappointing. I could put you on the... Mi no, no, I'm sorry. I need more than that. Uh, Olympus. No new flights. Uh, Trinity. I've got a couple of... Oh, that, that's quite a nice one, isn't it? That's a nice medium flight. Where can I put you? I could try and fit you in there, couldn't I? Can? I can. Right, that's good. Okay, that's that job done. As our airport. How are we doing in terms of funds? Okay, we're doing reasonably well. We've made so far 50 grand today. Excellent. Having lost 64 the previous day. And our current average over 12 days is 151,000 loss. Okay. <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, look, our incorrectly destroyed baggage rating has gone up from 42 ish, whatever, 40 something, whatever it was, to 60. 
So that is looking a lot better. Worth the investment in this, all this uh, fabulous new infrastructure down here. One lonely parcel. He has passed as good. Oh, you weren't there, were you, buddy? No. <gasps> Guns! Terrorist! What does that tell me? Uh, manual scan, checked in, content perfume, question mark. So why did it come out of the gun? <laughs> gun check. Mmm. Don't think it's perfume, buddy. Okay, there's no big queue there. Oh, we're boarding here. Could I have two boarding desks on here? Would that make that more efficient? Because this is going to take some time. How's my staff doing? Yeah, that's that's okay. We're overstaffed in some areas. But yeah, that should do. Baggage, vehicles. I've got just about enough of those. Actually, no, I haven't done catering yet. Uh, that's another research option, isn't it? Oh, I can I can do catering. I think aircraft infrastructure. Catering depot. Oh, I can do that as well. How big? Well, that's quite big as well. And you require. Oh, you require public and service road access. Oh, botherations. <laughs> Actually, we could. We could put you down here, couldn't we? Because that's public road. It feels like a kind of stupid. Then I'm going. No, no, that's okay. No, service. Mm. Right, we've got something else to look forward to in the next episode of Airport CEO, I think. What we'll do for the moment, I think, is we will say, or I will say, you, you can say anything you like, but uh, I will say thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Airport CEO. If you have, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Even better, if you've got anything to say, any hints, tips, recommendations, criticisms, anything at all. It would be lovely to hear from you. I want to click on that plane. Let me click on the plane. There you are. Then I can follow you in uh, HUD free zone mode and follow you out. Good. Yes, if you've got anything to say, uh, hints and tips, any guidance on the game would be much appreciated. As I've said, I'm relatively new to it. So uh, any help would be gratefully accepted. Or criticism of the way I'm doing it. If I'm doing anything particularly wrong, then please do let me know. Just drop a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, that was very quick. I imagine some people will get a neck, uh, neck injury from that. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Airport CEO. Until the next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>